Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this case, we're going to make this robot from the Mega Man series. I think it's quite a good example or practice to do in plasticity. Now, this tutorial will be divided in two sections. I think it's going to be quite long. So, let's get started. So, first things first, I grab the cube, delete it, and I'm going to grab a sphere. Now, this sphere would be the body of the robot. So, go to the origin and grab around 200 centimeters. So you see now that I need to grab a line and cut the sphere. So I grab a line here, duplicate it with Alt X, and then I just mirror it. So now I grab these two lines, cut the sphere, delete the object, and delete the lines. I don't need them. Now that we have our sphere, it is a good idea to make this holes from above and from below. So I grab this thing and I'm going to press E or E to extrude. Otherwise I would just continue the, the circle. So I press E, I go down somewhere like this and I do the same for the opposite side. Doesn't matter how long, as long as it is extruded. So now I would like to cut these lines here. So for this I create two lines. Then I just mirror it, I grab the lines, press C to cut, and it's cutted. Okay, now I will grab this line here, and I would make a round chamfer, something like this, and I would do the same for this line, a round chamfer, something like this. So I need to do the same in the opposite side, so it's, I think it's easier if I just cut this mirror it and join okay now for this I do the same thing I mirror it and now I have this part so you see that now it's getting a bit of shape so now I will divide this I will do the same thing but for this part in the middle so I grab this line and I just go somewhere here, not too much, because remember this distance will double itself. So let's see if it looks good like this. So for this thing, I grab these two lines and then I just imprint them. So now I have these sections, which I can just push a bit inside. Okay, now I guess I would continue with this chest part. So for this I just grab, let's draw a cube. I press C to make it from the center. Uh, just around the same distance from here to here. Something like this. Now I grab all the vertex with one and make a hard chamfer. And then I just extrude this piece. Okay. Now I need to make this hole so I press the face, press O to offset and somewhere here. Now I just grab this face and I just press inside. If you want, you can go all the way inside. For the moment, I'm not so sure, so I'm going to leave it like this. Mm. And now I'm going to make this part here. So I would say I can grab this same piece or I can make a new one. So I'm going to draw a, a rectangle here. Then I press three and I just grow the face around like this. I grab with G and then with set, I go down. This I delete. And then you just see that this line, I can press G and move it around like this. This could be, but I prefer to make something like this. Okay, uh, what else can we do? On the other side is not, so I will just mirror this piece. But before I mirror, I'm going to select this face and this face, Control 2 or Command 2 to convert it to edge. And I just make a bit of chamfer, something like this. This face I, I will grab with these two other faces and grow it like to the back. Okay, so how to mirror this piece? I grab this object, press Alt X or Command, okay, Option X, and I just press F for freeform, and then I go to the middle, 
when it snaps I press click and I just go up or down so now it's mirrored exactly where I want it can delete this line and then I just grab this piece move it to the side around and then I go to the top and just come here and rotate it do it a bit like this now I think it's correct I'm going to make a bit more chamfers so I press here Control or command 2 and make another chamfer now if you think it's a bit too thin you can grab these pieces these faces and just offset them yeah, I think it looks better okay now this face I'm going to completely remove by pushing it to the back so now I think it's correct okay so you can do your own pieces you can invent this is something cool also with Mega Man this is this gives a lot of freedom to invent pieces so now what I'm going to do is just grab this and mirror them on the X and see if it looks good maybe I would I would move this piece a bit more to the side rotate it a bit more mirror and check how it looks I think it looks okay but something I'm figuring out now is that this piece should come outside so I grab these pieces and scale them now these pieces I'm going to move a bit outside and this piece too again G and I press V I snap it to this line I just, just move it like this so I think it looks better so I delete these pieces grab this mirror it and yeah I like it okay so what else can we do this red piece so for this I think it's quite easy I'm just so I'm going to snap a line from here and then I go like this I move it to the front so that you can see much better what I'm doing okay you have this line and I'm going to press V to make a soft chamfer and then I just mirror it join these lines and imprint it on this piece so now I suggest that we grab this face and then I just push it inside something like this not too much and we grab these lines and just make a chamfer something like this if you want you can improve it at home this is just more like an example I delete this line and I'm going to make these little screws just grab a circle move it to the front so now that we have our circle we got with three and extrude it then we grab the object just move it and rotate it something like this and maybe just rotate it as well like this okay we mirror it we grab the sphere then we grab these two objects and press Q so there we have it now what I could do is grab these two edges and make a hard chamfer this gives much more interesting details okay what else can we do I suggest we do the same for these pieces so here mm, so we grab we can also grab a cylinder and we snap to the face and we just draw maybe something like this press B for a new body and accept this is too long okay now we press V to this center snap it we just push it a bit inside we duplicate and move it around with V center to the face and somewhere here so we grab this piece then these two cylinders press Q and we have there and we do the same thing with these chamfers yes okay now I prefer to grab the cylinders a much bigger than this because this object would look so this detail would look so small so I rather have these this, uh, screws holes way bigger but it's up to you you can you can do it like you wish 
I grab this object, mirror it. So now we have it here. These lines I suggest we delete. But something we need to think about is this is not a sphere. So this is actually a squash sphere. So I'm going to squash these objects. Not too much, something like this. I think it's okay. So now it's time to make the shoulders. So for the shoulders, I'm going to make a sphere. And I will try to make it inside this part. So I just try something like this. Um, okay, I scale it more. I just try to be careful not to cross this line or this line, because otherwise it could make it could give me uh, some troubles later. So I think it's okay. So now I'm going to grab this two, press Q and shift Q so that I have individual pieces. I do this because I don't like the separation from here to here is too sharp. So I would try to make a chamfer, a soft chamfer. So I grab this line and I make a soft chamfer. And from here, I can also make a soft chamfer. Okay, something like this. Okay, now we have these three pieces, the circle, the shoulder, and the inside part of the shoulder. So what I need to do is the golden area. So for this, I can make a line and just draw it somewhere like this. I grab the vertex and I make a soft fillet. So I have this area. Let's make it a bit above. So something like this. I can just imprint it. So now I have this part. And I would, I would probably duplicate this line and grab something like this. And here down, I can just imprint it again. So now we have this face. Now let's try to offset it. Now it's not working. So for these cases, we can just make thicken face. And it should work. So now we have our shoulder. So what else can we do here? We can grab a circle, can draw it like this and duplicate it and make some tangent lines. So from here to the tangent and to the tangent, we trim these center pieces and we can join them. And what we can do is move this one a bit down, rotate it that is pointing to the sphere inside here can press shift I to check that everything is inside the sphere. So it's correct. So we grab this face and we push it inside. Something like this. So what this is, what I'm doing here, this area is the thing that is going to make the arm going up and down. That's why I think here is, I think that's why here is something like, um, a hole, I hope. But anyway, I suppose here is where it's going up and down. Okay. Now we can grab these pieces and just make a chamfer like this, hard chamfer. And remember this, you can always change at home. You can always uh, make some different designs or present something different. This is quite cool. Okay. So now I'm going to make the triangle and I'm going to move it in front and on top and rotate it. Okay. And I'm going to imprint it here. Good. Now for this face, I'm going to, I, I prefer to come out, convert it to edges and I can just scale it like this. Okay. So now our shoulder is taking a bit of shape. Mm, what else can we do? Uh, the screws. Okay. So we need to grab a circle. Okay. So now it should be one here and one here. So now we imprint it. We move this inside and grab this and chamfer it. Something like this. I think it looks okay. So we grab this chamfer can make it soft. Or how is it looking harder? Okay, I'm going to make this one sharp and this one I'm also going to sharp. 
What else? I'm going to make now this arm. So I'm going to, to draw a cylinder. And this cylinder, I'm going to move it, rotate it. That is fitting on this side. So for this, I'm going to scale it. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Now we just need to cut a line here. We craft these two edges and make a soft rounder. We grab a circle, we duplicate it, put it here. And for this, going to imprint it and we just move it to the back. We grab these lines and something like this. What else? Um, okay, there is a line here. So for this, I'm going to grab O and just offset this. Something like this and just go like this. Maybe this a bit longer, maybe not so much. Okay, now we have this part. And so now let's make the arm, this hand. Okay, so for the hand, I'm going to make a control point curve. And then I'm going to draw these four points. Now I'm going to duplicate to mirror it. So I have this area and I'm going to duplicate it again, rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm just going to move it with G and F and put it in the closest. Okay. I think it's correct. I grab these two lines and I just extrude them. Hide this. So I grab the black one, then the blue one, and then the black loft in G1. And this I can just delete. Curve I can also delete, and this piece I can just mirror it, join them, and patch it. So now it's also a solid. Now we just need to move it to the position it should be. Maybe I can just scale it on these two axes just a bit, so that it's not immense. Okay, maybe like this, yeah. So how do we connect this piece to the arm? Uh, I suggest we make a circle here on the center. And I press B for new body. Click accept. Now I'm just going to put it somewhere here. Yeah. And this arm, I move it to the back. Uh, I think it's okay. So now I just need to cut them with Shift Q and make the same chamfers that we have been doing before. So I grab these two objects. Q, Shift Q, accept. Grab this line, make it so, it's something like this. Now, I don't know if I should make something here. Maybe just a small line there. Okay, so now I'm going to make this gray area. Uh, so basically it's a line that is cutting the object and doing the same thing we have been doing. So I'm going to press Shift A for a new line, press something here, go a bit up and just up. So I have this line, move it a bit in front. Okay, so I have this part and I'm going to make a soft chamfer. And I suppose I'm going to, I'm just going to mirror it and I press F, cut here to the end, and I can just move left or right and accept. So now these two lines I need to join and I'm just going to, I don't find it so bad here. Maybe I cut it here. Okay, I'm going to cut and then I grab this line I can delete. Then I can grab these two edges, just, just these two edges. Be careful not to grab anything behind. I can make a soft chamfer. Yeah, actually, it doesn't look so bad. I like it like this. Okay, I will leave it so. Now I need to make this area here. So for this, I'm going to do basically the same thing. A line that goes somewhere here and here. I'm going to press mirror. I'm going to press F for freestyle. Just somewhere like this. I just need to accommodate it. I grab these lines, or in this case, I'm going to imprint it. 
Now I need to offset this, but before I offset, I think it's better, it's a good idea if I first do this area on this side. So for this, I'm going to extrude it, press B for new body. And I'm just going to craft this and make a roundness. So, and here I'm going to extrude it. Then I grab this line and So now I have this part and what I'm going to do now, I suppose now I can just offset it. Okay. And I grab these lines and now I'm going to chamfer it. I grab this, this and this. So everything is selected. I make another chamfer. I don't know if it's a rounder or maybe a hard one. I prefer rounder. Yes, I think it's good. Now I'm going to grab this circle, duplicate it, go down, imprint it. I offset this and on the other side too. And so. Delete these lines and I can just grab these lines and make a hard chamfer. Great. I think it's looking good. I'm going to make this object here. So basically it's another circle, uh, something like this. I create a line, cut it. And what else can we do? I can grab this line, make a rounder object, grab the face, extrude it inside. But before I accept, I'm going to grab this white circle and I'm going to inset this like a cone and accept. Now I can grab from the top view, I craft the object, then I just need to make it somehow in the center. Uh, maybe here, maybe it's a bit too big. That is inside this part. So this would be like the piece that binds the arm with the hand. Okay, so something like this and something like this. I think it's good. So what can we do now is we can just mirror this, press F from here the middle, and I just move a bit to my side. And there we have it. We have our hand. I need the spikes. Okay, I need to make the spikes. So for this, I have I have the cylinder and I grab it like this. Press B for new body. Okay, so now there are two options to make this spike. One is to grab this, scale it, we craft this face and dissolve it. So that is one way to do it. The other would be just to craft this face and just scale it. So depending on what you look for, this is the result you're going to have. But I'm just going to make something quick here. So on the set, mm, I like this, this detail. So for this, I'm going to craft the, the spike, make a line, and I'm just going to imprint it and also imprint it on the other side. Okay, so now it should be correct. I grab this face and just offset it. And I'm going to grab this and make a round chamfer. Yeah, I think it's okay. Grab it some. Now I'm going to make a radial array on the center and see how it looks. I think it could be bigger. Radial array. Ooh, just a bit smaller. Okay, so now let's try it again. Now it seems okay. I would like to make them a bit more pointy. I think we have our arm. I think it works. I'm going to delete these curves. It doesn't work anymore. And I think we have our upper body. You can grab and make more details. For example, you can grab maybe more um, holes for the screws. For example, like these holes. This would give a lot more life to the object, more mechanical feeling. You can maybe craft details like this one, which I'm not so sure, but I would like to make it way, way like scale it on the set. I think it looks better. These ones as well, I can scale it. Mm -hmm. I think it looks better. Um, what else can we do? Uh, let's craft this piece. So for this, we craft down and just make an offset because we can grow not so long something maybe relatively so okay then we draw a line 
and cut it and this face we can just offset it grab this line and make a hard chamfer so yeah, something like this i think it's looking quite good now i think we have our upper body we can delete the redundant topology maybe for all the objects okay i would like to make here a chamfer and a chamfer here the same for the lower part i grab here make a chamfer and another chamfer here and here as well and i think i like it so now it's just a matter of mirroring this object and there we have it we have our robot if it's if you think it's too you can maybe rotate this okay now we grab everything and we can just mirror it oh and then we have our upper body I, I think I'm happy with the result. So I'm going to leave it like this. For the next tutorial, I'm going to continue with the lower part of the body and finish this rabbit ears, or I think it's called rabbit ears, or maybe the the booster where, we, where he jumps. Okay, now this would be the first part of the tutorial. I think we did quite a lot of details and a lot of good things to practice in plasticity. So now for the next tutorial, I would continue, finish the legs, and then finish with the rabbit ears that he has in the backside. And I think that would be all. And then later we can move it to Blender and do the materials and the final render. So I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This helps me a lot. And I will see you until the next time. Thank you.